Kaleidoscope is an installation with three wall projections and, in the center of the room, a large light box. On top of the light box are three separate layers of colored ink, cyan, magenta, and yellow. Let's take a closer look at how these inks interact with light. The white light coming up from below actually contains all the colors of the rainbow, but the human eye only has color receptors for seeing red, green, and blue light. As this light passes through the cyan ink, the red light gets absorbed, while green and blue light are able to pass through. Magenta ink absorbs the green light, and yellow ink absorbs the blue light. When light passes through both yellow and magenta filters, blue light and then green light both get absorbed, leaving only red. When this red light enters the eye, it activates the red color receptors, so the overlap between yellow and magenta appears red. When light passes through yellow and cyan, only green light makes it to the eye. The overlap between yellow and cyan appears green. Finally, when light passes through magenta and cyan, only blue light gets through, so the overlap between magenta and cyan appears blue. The artist calls red, green, and blue real colors. These are the specific colors that can be directly observed by the human eye. We do not have a color receptor for yellow light. When we look at the yellow ink, our eye can only pick up on the red light and green light coming through. Our brain then takes this information and imagines a color it cannot see, something sort of in between red and green. Similarly, when the eye looks at magenta, it sees red and blue. The brain then imagines a color somewhere between these two. Finally, when looking at cyan, the brain imagines a color between green and blue. The artist calls cyan, magenta, and yellow virtual colors. These colors are not seen by the eye, but are completely invented inside your brain. On the surface of the light box, these inks overlap in different amounts, producing a variety of colors. Projected on the walls above the light box are videos of these mixing inks. We may think we're seeing many different colors projected on the walls, but in fact there are only three colors of light coming out of the projector, red, green, and blue. Why do we seem to see so many more colors than just these three? Imagine what happens when we overlap red and green light. When the eye looks at their intersection, it sees both red and green. The brain knows to interpret red and green light as yellow. Because we only imagine that we can see the color yellow, the projector can trick your brain into seeing this color even when no actual yellow light is present. In a similar way, green and blue light mix to create the impression of cyan, and red and blue light mix to create the impression of magenta. Kaleidoscope shows us that the same color information can be given to the brain in two different ways. We can start with the light box and filter down with cyan, magenta, and yellow, going from virtual to real, or we can start with a dark wall and build up colors by adding red, green, and blue, going from the real to the virtual.